Hey there, so I bet that you did a lot of shopping over the last couple of weeks and perhaps you stocked up on lots and lots of gel, right? So today, I wanna to show you the chicest way and the new way that I've been swatching all of my current gel nail products. It's super fun, super chic, and I do have a, a nail friend in the industry that got me into this method of swatching and it's so fun and just kind of like next level. Hey there, I am Paola of paolapuntsandnails.com and in this channel we talk Japanese shell and solopreneurship so if you're interested in any of these subjects please do consider subscribing. So I'm using these makeup palettes to put my little uh, swatching crystals inside. So look how chic this is. This collection here is actually from my uh, nail friend Katie Masters Nail Thoughts and so I created these little chic little palettes. I added the foil so it's been just really fun and I can't wait to tell you more about it and show you my process. I've also invested in these bigger nail palettes or actually makeup palettes and I went ahead and started swatching my, my leaf gel collection and so far I've come up with this. So I'm going to show you all of the materials that I'm using because I figured if I'm excited about this new way of swatching, I bet you are too. So I thought I'd put a video together for you. I'm calling this so 2020. All right, so let's get swatching. I pretty much laid out my materials here. I'll show you what I have. And essentially, this is what we're gonna be looking forward to. So you see how I have this beautiful little makeup palette with my glass tiles already in there. Just so you know, this is the Nail Thoughts uh, Cocoa Waste collaboration. So Cocoa Waste Bottled Gel Line is in here, it's fully in there. I may switch it over, but for now it actually fits perfectly with all of the colors that they launched with that collection. And it did have like a brand logo here. I wanna go ahead and buffed it and kind of put some foil in there and just made it unique. So as you can see, glass tile swatching is just super fun. It's totally like build your own, whatever you wanna do. I've even had like a friend in the industry take CD cases, like, you know, old school CD cases and put her glass tiles in there and just make them per collection per season um, sort of like that it's been really fun so again this is kind of like your end goal to have like a nice little swatch book okay so I have these little glue dots that I have used this tacket uh, bottled for now I wanted to try this and see if I could use this to adhere my glass tiles however I think they're kind of really rounded really bulky and I don't think that would be the best scenario but I'm gonna go ahead and recycle this and put it on a ruler so that I can go ahead and put all of my tiles on here so I can swatch them and here are my tiles now I have this makeup palette here it's like an eyeshadow palette super nice it's just a black long like maybe 10 by 4. I'll link it for you and here are my glass tiles and this is clear double-sided tape and there are different widths. I'm using the really skinny one and then if I didn't have the glue dots for my ruler I probably would have just used this uh, double-sided tape to line my ruler up and then put my glass tiles on there so I can swatch them all at once. All right so now I'm just kind of gonna let you see me work. Okay, I think this is going to provide a lot of instability, so I'm actually not going to do that. I thought I'd be kind and try to recycle the glue dots, but I am just not going to fuss with them. Alright, so now what I want to do is take double-sided tape. It can be this kind or it can be the clear kind, totally up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and use this one up. All 
All right, so here we are. I went ahead and put all of the glass tiles that I currently have, just so I can like knock it out in one go. Now I am getting some more and I won't be labeling them um, the way I would like to. I think I'm just gonna write the number behind them with a silver metallic silver sharpie on the back you see and i'm also going to be lining them up in order now i'm going to be swatching my cocoa is collection today and so i don't think that i will be getting new cocoa is colors so i'm going to go ahead and swatch them in order and that way even when i do put them in my palette i'm not wondering which color is which because i know they're in order so you know the first one will be three and then five and then nine and then so on and so forth according to the numbers in my gel pods makes sense so the next thing you want to do when you're glass swatching is take a little bit of alcohol solution right get a little lint-free towelette and you want to clean the back of your glass tiles the beautiful thing about working with glass is that you cannot tarnish it you cannot fog it up or mess it up you just want to do this obviously because they have been handled previously without gloves and so you want to remove any um, natural uh, fingertip oil let that evaporate and look how pretty they come out this is uh some that i started on but i'm downsizing i'm making them a little bit smaller this is the 15 millimeter and this is a 14 millimeter slightly smaller and I guess I can fit more that way in my palette. All right, now I'm not gonna use base coat on the glass tile. I'm actually gonna go right into with the colors. So I'm gonna set up for like a color application. I need a couple for glitters and stuff. So I'm gonna use those. And I'm gonna use my little brush holder to hold my brushes. If I happen to need a lint-free surface, I'll use this silicone palette. Just cleaning it. Okay, now most of my colors won't need to be stirred because I already took care of that. However, if your colors have been sitting there for a while, then you might want to have one of these little stir sticks handy. And then when I cure this, I actually am just going to take my whole ruler and then place it into the curing unit like so. Now it has been a while since I've used my brushes. And if you want a little tutorial on how to break your brushes apart and go ahead and click that card above or you can also check in my library after this video now some of these you might be able to just do with one coat you don't have to do two coats if the color is super pigmented this red i'm only going to do one coat And when I send it off to cure, I'm actually just going to be doing a flash cure so that I can keep moving. And obviously, as it keeps going back, it's going to continue adding on the cure. So if this was cured for 10 seconds, the next time it goes in because of these two, it's going to be 20 seconds. The next time it goes because of these two, it's going to be 30 seconds. So it's always going to get the cure time that it needs.
right, so now I finished swatching all of the square tiles that I have thus far. I am uh, in the process of receiving some more. They should be here tomorrow or in a couple more days. So the amount that I got to swatch was pretty much one full quantity of these because I stopped right about there. So these five, and then I didn't do the Platinum Magnet series. So that's about as many as I got. I do have three stacks of this. So this is my first one. I'm going to be working on this one next. And then I have this one here. All right, so I've got some work to do. All in all, it took me about an hour, a little less uh, with your little prep time. And it's just really like almost like a therapeutic thing to do and get organized and really take your swatching to a very elegant place when you are doing this in the salon and it just really makes your business stand out. And then now I'm just gonna go ahead and do a non-wipe top coat on all of them and give them a full cure. So I'll cure half of it and then I'll cure the other half. All right, so now we've painted, who's we, I've <laughs> painted all of the uh, square tiles that I've had, and I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them over to my makeup palette. And I wanna do this in order, remember, because at the moment I'm not gonna label mine. And so I am gonna start over here and then just press it onto the corner. I've already put double-sided striping tape on the little makeup palette here. So it's just a matter of transferring things over. All right, so when you're doing this, you wanna make sure if you would happen to have a palette like this, or even if you didn't, put one on each end, that way everything fits really snug and really fit it tight. And obviously pre-measure, make sure that it fits. Because I did it initially, um, it, it did not fit one, but now I kinda did it all over again, putting one on each end and very tight to each other, and now it fits perfectly. Boom, so I have a few left, so. We're gonna keep at it. should all look very pretty coming through there. I'll show you what I have going on also with other collections. So this is my leaf gel collection and these are the 18 millimeter hearts and these are the 10 millimeters I believe. Um, I'm gonna turn these into bigger ones but this is all I had at the time. So yeah it's the same size and instead of going horizontal I went vertical with this folder. This is coming along pretty well, pretty chic for being here till the end i've actually created a great giveaway for you and i am including lots of last house i'll be sending them over to one lucky winner make sure you check out the giveaway link in the description box below we also have free resources for you to download down there we have a free class we also have a free community in facebook where you can join us if you want to learn all things japanese gel 
and soft quality gel formulas all right so check them out again thank you so much for hanging in to the end check out that giveaway link we'll see you next week bye